Now we are going to implement logistic regression on iris flower classification problem. Now this particular problem is actually to identify different species. Here you can see the name of the species of iris flower just given four features and those four features are the sepal length, petal length, sepal width and the petal width. There are 50 observation for each species that means total 150 observation and there are no null values. So now we are going to implement the logistic regression on it. So firstly we need to import the data science library for the required solution. So I am firstly going to write import pandas spd Next I am going to import the matplotlib library Next, I will import NumPy and then I will import sklearn. And from sklearn dot linear I will import logistic regression. So these are the libraries which I have imported and now I want to import the data set. The data set of iris flower which we talked about that there are 50 observation for each species and in total there are 150. So that I am going to import from sklearn only. I will write like this from sklearn.dataset import load iris. Similarly, we did for Boston also. Now I have created a variable named iris which is going to load. iris and then I'm going to print it so here you can see that it has printed the values which are there the total 150 observations which are there of the array and you can see that the data set is a dictionary set data that means there are several keys and according to that it has the value pair so what we need to do is we need to firstly print the keys that what are the keys so like we used to write in dictionary we will simply write like here also that is iris dot keys so you can see here these are the keys which are there and uh, data target target names dscr feature names and the file name now what are our target species we need to know that also for that we will write like this print and here i will write iris dot target names so the target names are the species which are there that is set soa versicolor and virginica so these are are the output now we are going to know the feature name also to know the feature names we have to write like this print ideas dot feature names so here you can see that the feature names are sepal length all are in centimeters sepal width petal width and petal length so these are the features which are there now what i have to do is i have to initialize a data frame for performing further operation so like this i can write for data frame df equals to pd dot data frame and in that data frame what we need to pass iris dot data and next what we need to do we need to print the data frame and i am printing the first five observations so for that we use df dot head so these are the first five observations which are there which we have printed and next what we want to do that we want to add the feature names of column of the data not like 0 1 2 3 i want to add the features name so for that what we need to do is df dot columns 
equals to iris dot feature names and then we are going to write like this df dot head so here you can see that in the output in place of 0 1 2 3 now it is having sepal length sepal width petal length and the petal width next what we need to do is i want the data information for pre-processing of data what kind of data is there so that i can you know define x and y according to that so for that we have to simply write like this df info so here you can see that this is a kind of data frame no null values are there and the total 150 observations of each are there and it is ranging from 0 to 149 and as it has a total of 150 entries and data type is also shown next what we are going to do we are going to check for the dependent and the independent variables and then we are going to print it like that so for that we know that we split it into x and y so we do like this x equals to iris data and here we're going to write y equals to iris target so the data is independent variable that means the data which is there and those three flower species which we have seen are the dependent variable so we are taking it y and naming it as iris dot target and next we're going to print the shape so we'll write like this print x dot shape and similarly print y dot shape so you can see like this the target data set and the original data set that is a dependent and the independent variable have been displayed that is having 150 rows and four columns and the target data is having 150 rows only no columns next what we need to do we need to split the training data and the test data so that we can improve the machine and then we can train the machine according to that so for that we simply write like this x train comma x test comma y train y test and from sk learn dot model selection dot train test split x comma y and then we need to give the test size so test size i'm giving here as 0 0.25 comma the random state now here data is already scaled so there is no requirement for data pre-processing if data is not scaled then we will scale it first so data scaling is not required and this is already a scaled data next what we need to do we need to import the logistic regression and training of the model so here I use the variable equals to logistic regression random state I'm giving zero and then we need to fit so LORG dot fit x train comma y train so we have fit the data and this is our model LORG now what we need to do we need to evaluation or the prediction of the test data so for that we need to have a y predict variable dot predict x test and print y 
y predict so you can see here a array of value is generated next what we need to do we will create a confusion matrix now this confusion matrix is used to calculate the accuracy of the model that means by the predicted thing which is there it will print the accuracy of the model so we need to prepare a confusion matrix for it and for doing that we write like this from sklearn dot matrices import confusion matrix i'm naming it in cm variable confusion matrix will be printed between y test that is the tested value and y predict so this is the confusion matrix now it is in a form of matrix but displayed it in the form of array diagonal elements of the matrix show that it is the correct fit and the rest show that it is the incorrect fit so this actually 16 10 and 11 actually shows us the correct fit of the elements which are there in the data set now for calculating the accuracy we use the accuracy score function so that also we import from sklearn matrices and we need to print the accuracy score of y test and y predict so here you can see that this is the accuracy score of the model which we have built so this is all about the logistic regression of iris far classification problem and all this code are mentioned here in our tutorial also and the link will be given in the video description